Nice. So now, guys, we have done it. We have succeeded in getting to the moon. We've got to the moon. We've uh, encountered a lot of mobs. And now we have a very nice way of just getting ourselves uh, to and from the moon back to our base. Here we go. Return. Whew. Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine, my name is Isaac and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 40 and I have been pretty busy since the end of last episode. I, I made the electric compressor like I said I was going to do and I have basically just been compressing up a bunch of stuff. We now have quite a bit of bronze, steel and aluminium or aluminum if you're from the US and a little bit of tin as well just for the odd bits and bats that require tin and I can hear skeletons somewhere. Which is never good, so I'm going to go to sleep because there's really no point in staying out at night. So now, all we really have to do is assemble the rocket and build a few little uh, extra trinkets and, and doodads that are going to allow us to uh, do some pretty important stuff like stay alive once we uh, get to space. But I think the first thing we should work towards is the rocket because this is going to take a little bit of time. So we need, I believe, in total 32 uh, heavy duty plating which uh, is made by compressing up some uh, compressed steel compressed aluminium and compressed bronze that is why i have a bunch of each of those and that's why i have a stack of them so we can go boom i actually think this does need to be in order so boom boom and boom maybe this way around yeah, there we go. So 32 of each of them, if you get a stack of all three, you will have exactly the right amount to make a tier one rocket. So I'm going to leave that running and uh, doing its thing. You can see we do have a little extra of all of them. And, and that is because a couple of other things that we need to make do require uh, some plates. So the first thing that we're kind of definitely going to need when we're on the moon is oxygen. And in order to get oxygen, we are going to need an oxygen collector and an oxygen compressor. The oxygen collector collects the oxygen and then the compressor compresses it into its other forms. So, boom, 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 boom. That gets us a oxygen fan. And then we can get ourselves one of these. There's quite a lot of just random stuff that we, uh, we need to throw together for this. So, we've got one of those. We need one of these. And then we need one of these. And then we need one of these, which requires another one of those. So we're going to need another one of these. There is just a lot of... It's just long craft... Oh, 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 we appear to be out of juice. <laughs> what are the odds? Last episode and we run out of power. Okay. Um, please tell me I didn't leave all of the stuff in the thing. Ah, We had so much... Um, what's it called? Uh, of the Yellorium, and I think I've left it all in the ME system, which is like the worst thing I could ever do. Okay, okay, good thing is we have our Crescent Hammer. So, I'm going to grab this guy, and we are going to go ahead and use this. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of mobs in there. We are going to ignore those guys, and just, 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 just run. <laughs> just run away. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, for now, throw you down here. Grab ourselves, we don't have a bucket, so that's a bit of a pain. We can grab the gunpowder. We kind of need a bucket, actually, don't we? Uh, we can go back to pretty... Wow. It's just... A, look, look at how much stuff we've got. Jeez, this has been running for such a long time. It just goes to show how much the, the, the whole system can just fall apart as, as if you rely on A too much. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some iron and go smelt this up. Uh, the old-fashioned vanilla way. Look at this. This is, this is why we keep uh, vanilla furnaces just lying around. Just in case you need to make yourself a uh, some iron or gravel into a bucket. So I'm going to let that do its thing. Uh, how far did we get on this? 
Uh, a little bit. We got we got six. Uh, I think this thing is going to flicker on and off uh, every now and again because we're going to get little uh, trinkets of power. But it looks like we're going to have to wait for this. So uh, while that's smelting up, the plan is to uh, to get to build a rocket to get back to the moon. And for those who remember, we are going to go and get to our... We're going to try and find our link book, which we should have a waypoint to if it stayed true to, uh, to where it was before. We should be able to go back, find our linking book, and return back to our old base when we were trying to get to the moon. So that is the plan, and, and we'll see if it works. But here we go. Bucket. Let's go get some mob essence. And uh, do we have any mob essence? Wow. Really? Really? Really, really? <laughs> wow, okay. What's... Why is this not on? Oh, okay, the evidence level. We don't need this anymore. Go away. There we go. That should get us a little uh, a little bit of mob essence. It's not going to last forever because this energy is probably going to run out pretty quickly because we are... We, we don't have the dynamo hooked up. But I'm hoping we get some... Uh, some. Let's get rid of this. I'm hoping we get enough mob essence to at least just kickstart it so we can grab the Elorium. That's all we need. Come on. Please. That's only 600. Ah, oh, really? Really? Ah, okay. Um, I am fairly certain you can put other things into the dynamo. I'm going to go out on a limb and try and put this um, Enderium stuff in there. I have a feeling it won't work, but we could actually... Oil? Uh, the drum is nearly full of oil. That I know. I would like to take some. Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and try and just uh, throw some endorium in here. Is that going to work? Nope. It is 100% not going to work. Okay. Um. Well, <laughs> this is a, a very nice turn of events. We need to be able to fill that thing up. We cannot, for some reason, take it out of there. Um. I'm guessing meat doesn't work. Sludge might. Milk, I'm guessing, doesn't, but we can give it a try. Flipping heck, look at this. We were we were so close. Nope, milk doesn't work. Um, I'm fairly certain liquefacted coal works, but we don't have any liquefacted coal. Um, does this guy have anything in? Of course he doesn't. That would be far, far too easy. Um, I think we're going to just have to bring over one of these, or a couple of these steam dynamos. Uh, that are not steam dynamos, these survivalist generators, and and hope that these have we can like muster together enough power to uh, to kick it on for a couple of seconds, and just just hope that that works. Uh, let's have a look. We'll take two, three, four. Probably not. I mean, this four of these only produce twenty redstone flux per tick, and I have a sinking feeling that this ME system right now is using a bunch of of redstone flux per tick, or at least requires a bunch of it. Um, let's go to Minecraft tools. It requires energy stored. Power uh, is low. Uh, it doesn't tell us how much it needs. Uh, does it need 4.3 Minecraft jewels per tick? That would be 43 redstone flux per tick, so we still wouldn't have enough. But uh, we can give it a go for, for for nothing. Let's give this a try. For some reason, they don't stack. Oh, this one's full. That's why. Okay. These ones are full. Boom. Boom. Are they going to release power? They are. Are we up? Yes, we are. Okay, right. Eulorium. Here we go. We'll take this. We'll throw this in the furnace. We'll throw it in this furnace, actually. We might as well. And then we can start this thing up and running again. We could make a cyanide reed processor and start using this again. But there's really no point. We're going to be leaving at the end of this episode. We don't need all this stuff. So we'll take you. We'll throw you back in there. And we'll let that do its thing. We can, we, well, I'll move those back before the end of the episode. And uh, yes. Yeah, so where were we? We were making a oxygen uh, collector. Did we get everything? We almost got everything. We needed another one of these oxygen vents. And boom. We have ourselves an oxygen collector. Nice. So, the next thing we're going to need is an oxygen compressor, and what this allows us to do is take the oxygen we get from the oxygen uh, collector, and then compress it down, duh, and, and send it over into our oxygen tanks that we are going to then wear to the moon. So, what are we missing for the compressor? We are missing this guy, which we should be able to make. Nice. So, we'll throw that in there. We'll do that. You can go there. And boom, oxygen compressor done. So, what we should be able to do with this is, let's quickly get rid of these guys. We don't really need you on there anymore. It's cool that they keep the power, though. That's quite nice. Uh, let's quickly throw some more Eulorium in there. We shouldn't run out of power again, I don't think. We uh, we should have quite a bit started. Yeah, look at this. We're, like, filling up on fuel. This is good. Okay, so we could throw down our oxygen collector. And I am fairly certain this guy does require power, but it's from the other side there, like that. So he's going to start to fill up with oxygen. The compressor, I don't think, does require power, but I might be wrong there. It looks like I am. It looks like it requires power on that side. So we'll just put this guy on top. Actually, eh, yes, we'll put him on top here. And then we'll swivel him around 
like that, and he should start to gain power. And now, in order to move the oxygen from here into here, what we need to do is we need to get ourselves some oxygen pipes. So, these sound quite complex, but really they're just super simple. They're just glass. So, we'll grab some glass that we actually just got from our smeltery up top. Make some of those, and go boom. Get rid of all you, and boom. And we have oxygen pipes. Nice. So we can take those. We can throw them down over here. Boom, boom. And this thing should start to fill up with oxygen. Look at that. Instant filled up. And all we have to do from there is get an oxygen tank that we can throw in there. So we are going to go for... Do Actually, do we have any wool? <laughs> we don't. However, someone in the comment section did point out that we can, in fact, use all the string that we have, which is uh, a fair comment there. So we'll grab all that. We'll go boom, 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 boom. I would be surprised if we have any red dye. Uh, do we have any flowers? Wow, okay. Uh, we need some form of, uh, dye? Yellow? We have yellow. Is yellow an option? No, it's not at all. Uh, green? Is there a way to make green dye that we have? Lime green is cactus green and bone meal, or just repulsion plant seeds, which we don't really have. Uh, we might have the one for rose red, though. Do we have fire flower seeds? Yes, we've got to have those. Fire! We've got one. <laughs> okay. Uh, we should be able to get... We should be able to get a few more by using the uh, the little system we have over here with the netherrack that we probably should have upgraded at some point, but we didn't because, you know, why not? So, let's see. Can we throw you on there? Oh, gosh. Nope. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we, 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 we messed that up a little bit. It's fine. And we are getting some serious heat stroke. Let's replace you. Um, okay. Do we have any orange ones? I think this is helium, isn't it? Propulsion plant seeds. Let's have a look. What seeds do we have? We have we have some propulsion plant seeds. Nice. Okay, so we'll take we'll take some of those. Geez. We'll take two of you. We'll combine that with some wool made from string. Two of you. I think you can craft it like that. There you go. And then we can make ourselves some of these. One more of these guys. Some more tin canisters. And boom. Nice. So we got ourselves a medium oxygen tank. Which should be okay because I don't intend to spend a whole lot of time on the moon. So all we need to do is grab our oxygen compressor. Throw that in there. And that should start to fill up pretty nicely. There we go. Uh, until it's got 1,800 units of oxygen. Whatever arbitrary unit they decide to go with there. And yeah. So now we need a way to actually store that on ourselves and get it round to us. So for that, we are going to need an oxygen gear, which looks like it's going to require a little bit more uh, oxygen tank, uh, oxygen glass even, pipes, things. I can't talk. <laughs> and then one, two, three, four, five. That's easy enough with another one of you guys in the middle. So we should have a spare canister. We probably don't have a spare one of those. We are out of steel. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine. We can grab ourselves a little bit more steel with some iron and all this charcoal that we have. So we'll throw you in there throw you in there these are all done nice and we can actually start to get on the rocket then if that's all done we are going to need some more steel though quite a bit more by the looks of things you don't require steel which is nice so we can make ourselves a nose boom 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 nose done we can make ourselves an engine nope we need some more steel for that uh we also need uh some fins the nose that's it we just need four fins and an engine and we are good to go so all we need is just a fear flint steel done button done <laughs> and then that looks to be about all we can do we can make a few more tin canisters because we are going to need a few more of those this guy unfortunately doesn't work the fastest uh, it's pretty slow at producing those um the steel right there which is not the best but so we can get two more from this, which will allow us to make the engine, one of those, and the oxygen gear, which is quite nice. And then we can wait around a little bit more, uh, if needs be, for the rest of the stuff. So let's go ahead and make another one of these. Actually, two more. Boom, boom. We can make the engine. Yes, we can make the engine. Done. And we can make ourselves an oxygen, ge an oxygen gear, even. Are we... What are we... Ah, okay. Um, we, we're missing tin? Wow, okay. We need more tin as well. Tin is not too bad. We've got a ton of tin. And all you got to do is, is just throw it into the compressor. I'm going to use this one over here for tin because... Actually, we have tin. Okay. <laughs> we have some just lying around. But we do require four more of the steel. So we'll throw some in there. And how much do we need for the fins? We need four fins. 
which means we're going to need eight more compressed steel. Ah, oh, that's going to take a while. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is, again, I'm going to sit around and, and wait for this to finish. I don't think that there is anything else left to do. We do need a fuel loader, actually, but that might require uh, some stuff as well. Let's have a look. Fuel loader. Yeah, it requires more steel. And actually, another basic wafer. Do we have another one of those lying around? We do. We have one more. Look at that for, for perfectness. So we are going to need another fuel loader. Uh, we're also going to need a refinery, actually, as well, to, uh, to turn our oil into... Um, into fuel that we can then put in the fuel loader. So they're, they're the couple of machines that we have left to make, all of which require some steel. So we're going to have to go through and make like another half stack uh, of steel plates. I'm going to go do that, guys, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, and we have about 20 compressed steel. Uh, I changed up the way that I was making compressed steel because this thing was so slow. But it turns out you can compress the iron up first and then throw it into... Uh, any compressor with with two coal and it will also make compressed steel which is kind of nice so i'm actually going to leave this to compress up as well just in case we need a little bit more compressed steel because we might just need a tad more but uh, but yeah it seemed a little bit fat it, it's still pretty slow compressing it and then compressing it again but it seemed a little bit faster than uh, than using the the other guy so we're going to add galactic craft and what did we need we needed some fins which are fairly easy to make we go boom the boom with some steel there we need one two three four of these that should leave us with about eight of the other compressed things what have i just called them they are heavy duty plates we need eight of those we have nine left pretty nice i feel like i'm missing something there because i feel like we should only have eight but without further ado we should now be able to head down here go boom boom Boom, 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 and boom, 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 and we have ourselves a tier one rocket. Nice. Okay, so we have this guy. Step one complete. We have a tier one rocket. Now we need somewhere to put it, and in order for that to work, we need some launch pads. Now, let's have a look. Where are the launch pads? They are... I have no idea. I'm just going to type in launch pads. There we go. Launch pads. Flipping heck, they are expensive, but luckily enough, you get nine in a set. They're not like that expensive each so boom oh we need compressed iron okay look at this look at this for perfectness we have it over here so we can go boom and then we can take nine of those and all you gotta do is one two three four five six seven eight nine it'll form into a nice little multi-block and we could throw our rocket down on top nice so this guy apparently we have two now uh this guy's probably gonna go uh did we just did we just do Nope, I want to leave. I do not want to left shift to dismount. I'm up. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> okay, I don't want to keep that. Okay, did we lose the rocket? Nope. Do we? Okay, we're dupe glitch. We have two rockets. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. We have two of them. We have a backup rocket now. So, uh, yeah, apparently we have two rockets, but we have our launch pad. And now all we need is to finish up the oxygen gear. So we'll go back to at Galactic Craft. And then we just need to be able to move the fuel from, turn it from oil to fuel, and then move it into the um, the rocket itself. So, do we have everything we need for this? We do. We can take one of you, and then we can combine it with the oxygen pipes to make ourselves some oxygen gear. And then we can throw this on with our tank in here. We're also going to need an oxygen mask, which is pretty easy to make. This guy, like so. We need a little bit more glass. Do we have enough? Of course we do. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't know we had an iron helmet in there, but that's fine. I'm not going to complain. We could throw that on like that. Then we just throw one or two oxygen tanks on here. You can have two, which just increases the amount of oxygen you can hold. You can also have a sound amplifying device that allows you to hear sounds on the moon. And you can have a, 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 a parachute so that when you come back, you, uh, you fall slowly and don't die when you hit the floor. We're not going to need that because that, we're not coming back. We're, we're leaving. We're going via Mistcraft. So, we have all that stuff. Now, we need a fuel loader and a refinery. The refinery, fairly easy. We can make some copper uh, canisters. Furnace is probably the hardest thing I've ever made in Minecraft. And then, boom. Nice. We've got a refinery. We could throw this there down somewhere like here. But it, it always baffles me how Galactcraft does this. Like, some of these machines have power on the right. Some have power requirements on the left. Some have power requirements on the top. It's like, why? Why is that a thing? Do we have any conduits? We don't. But we can make some fairly easily. Do we have any... 
No, we don't. <laughs> Again, we can make some fairly easily. We'll throw the uh, empty pipes in there. We'll grab some redstone. We've got 400 plus of this stuff. Throw that in there, and that's going to make us some redstone energy conduits. We only need the one, and then we could start making some fuel. So we'll throw you in there. We will go ahead. I believe we can use this, uh, this canister here uh, just to do this. And that should empty it out completely. The oil's in there. We can just click refine. And that's going to start turning it to fuel. Very, very nice indeed. And then all we need is a fuel loader like this. Nice. Look at that. Just enough stuff. And we could throw this guy down over here next to the rocket. I believe we just have to put it there. Yeah, that's right. And then we need to power on this side. And that should fill up nicely once we put a canister full of fuel in it. Uh, so that's going to do that. Once that's filled up, it should start to put it in there. Uh, it should slowly move it into there anywhere. Please tell me it's going to do it. It might not. We'll find out. Might have to make another canister. I might have just ruin that. But hey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to charge this guy up real quick so we can get power over here. Because we've put this rocket in a bit of an odd position. So let's throw you down up here. Becoming a little bit of a mess over here. But that's fine. We'll put, turn the bottom to blue so it starts to gain power. And we should be pretty much good to go. All we got to do now is move the um, the fuel from here once it's done over into here. That's going to load it into the rocket. And then once we put the power down, it's going to start loading into the rocket fairly quickly. And then we can leave. We have ourselves our oxygen, uh, our oxygen gear. Uh, let's go grab the tank. We got that guy. And I think we are about good to go. We should have completed that final quest in the quest book. Uh, it is a manual detect quest. So it's, well, it's okay. We have a spare one <laughs> for whatever reason. Let's take this guy and let's manual detect. Boom. And we are done. Look at that. Beautiful. We have completed every single quest in the crash landing quest book. There is nothing more for us to do down here. Look at this. Look at this. To think it started with one little, one little shack. Uh, after we crash landed, and we managed to turn it into a just look at this, just a sprawling, thriving enterprise that's not really an enterprise, just massive stuff. I love it. I love it to bits. Okay, are we almost there <laughs> with the fuel? Maybe six hundred. That's going to continue on. I don't know if this fuel canister is gonna is gonna do its stuff. Actually, let's can we just do this? I'll put the fuel canister in there. Is that gonna empty itself out? I think it should. Let's try this. If I put this down here, is that going to make sure the side's orange so that it gets out the power? It is. That's going to move, I think, the fuel into there. This is now empty, so I'm assuming that worked. Um, we can start to load fuel, I guess. And if you have a look in here, it should start to get some fuel. There we go. We're about, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, so that works. Uh, and then let's just fill it up again. That's all done. It's all now in there. We can throw it into the fuel loader. Boom. For whatever reason, it goes into here if you try shift-click it in. Not quite sure why. That is still loading fuel, I believe. Yep, there we go. 41, 50. We should be close to 100% once that's done. And yeah, we are pretty much good to go. We can get rid of you. We don't need most of this stuff anymore. We can get rid of, like, all of that. And yeah, we've got our cheeseburger to, to send us off. We'll, uh, we'll fill up our, our water just before we leave. Because we don't want to be on the moon without water. That would be a bad idea. We're wearing our blaze hat just for commemoration sake. I'm not sure what's up with the skin. It hasn't been shown for quite a while now. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. But yeah, we can we can finally say goodbye to the old base. I don't know what's happening up there. We've got dry rubber Okay, we got dry rubber leaves. Uh, the rubber trees finally started to grow again. We have a ton of wood. I, I kind of want to try... Mm, I really want to try get a, like an extra barrel for that. Well, let's, let's go to at Jabber whilst we're waiting for things to fill up. I kind of want to... Um, to make one of these so that we can like have it have more than 128 stacks in there i want to be able to fill it up like really full let's see if we go with like how much does this one cost we need the fences okay that's easy enough an emerald it's fine we can do this i want to i just want to see a ton of stacks on that on that barrel that's all i want that's all i want before we leave we've got a rocket ready to go and i just want to see a barrel full of stuff there we go structural mark seven and then i think the way we've got to do this is we've got the upgrade slot the storage that one we need to make this one which is three of these okay do we have okay let's make ourselves a ton of pistons <laughs> like like the one that we geez okay come on come on isaac we can do this <laughs> Let's make a ton of pistons. We don't need this stuff anymore. There we go. 39 pistons. Let's make as many of these as we can. 16. Let's make them into... I'm assuming this one requires three of those. Yeah, it does. Okay. So let's make a bunch of those. And then 
those. And let's see how far we can go. So we should be able to install a, a level 3. I think we might have to break it. I'm not sure. Can I just put that in? Uh, you need at least one upgrade mark 6 to apply this. Really? Oh, do we need to go all the way up? Do we need a mark... Oh, really? That's how it's going to do it? We need like a mark 2, mark 3, mark... Wow, okay. Okay, we can do it. We can, we can, we can do it if you're going to insist. What are we missing? Fences. Okay, let's just make a ton of fences. Six. <laughs> let's make six fences. There we go. Okay, level two. Level three. Level four. We've got the diamonds, don't worry guys, we've got the diamonds. Quick detour here, I, just, I really want to try this, I haven't tried it yet. We're going for level 4. Boom, 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 boom. Level 5. Requires obsidian, really? Ah, oh, That's, okay, 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 that's fine. We'll go, we'll go as high as level 5 then, or level 4. We'll see how far this goes. Here we go. Uh, that should work, right? 2, 3, oh my god, it changes colours. That is amazing. Look, why didn't we do this sooner? Okay, we should be able to install a three on there now, there now, because that's just the next one up. And I think we might even be able to install the nine. Uh, so what's it called? It's storage, upgrade three, take one of you. Let's go see if we can install this on here. Because there's so much wood it can start to handle. This is why the farm isn't working. So boom, that can now hold up to two, uh, 20,480 items and 320 stacks max. And boom, now it can hold 896 stacks of wood. That is insane. Almost 60,000 um, plank um, logs there, which is kind of stupid. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 stacks of broken iron ore. So we had just eight, divide that by four, like four gives you two, and then we could triple it in the, the higher. We've got like another flipping six, seven stacks of iron in there, which is kind of insane as well. And yeah, I think with that, we have done everything I wanted to do. We've done everything that I wanted to set out to complete. I have pretty much done it all. We've completed all the quests. We can finally leave in peace. Here we go. Uh, do we have everything on? We have our oxygen, which is going to start depleting, I think. Oh, no, maybe not yet. Okay. We have all our gears. I think we have everything. I'm going to really quickly grab uh, these two guys here. Because one of the mistakes that I always make whenever I leave is not taking the fuel loader with me. So I'm going to take this just in case we have to come back. I don't think we will. But just in case we do, we can have this thing. But, uh, yeah. I think we could say bye to the base for the last time. Bye. <laughs> We're going. We're leaving here. Sayonara. We got 20 seconds left. Look at this. We can get a nice. We can get a nice. We'll press F1. We'll get a nice sort of like. Can we do F8? Does that work? Yeah, we can get a nice slow, spinning view. Final last look at the base before we leave. We've got the cows over there that are always a pain in our backsides. Look at this. We've got the high oven. We've got the tree farm. We've got the mob spawn we made ages ago. We've got the big base, the new base. Oh, we're going. We've got the big reactor. We've got that little automated source and production. The farms, the automated burgers. There's like five stacks of burgers down there that we're just leaving behind. Ah. Oh. We should have probably taken some burgers for the trip now I think about it. But hey, we've done it. We're going. This is it. To the moon we go. Boom. Oh my god. No, why are we why are we oh god. Hoo, 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 hoo. I'm holding space. Flipping heck. I thought we were actually just gonna fall then and uh, die and I was gonna cry a little bit inside. But no, it's okay. I can see the linking book. It is over there. It's quite far away, but that's fine. We can we can always teleport over. I have held space bar down for the longest time. We should have a nice smooth landing. This should be okay. It said we were starving in the top right hand corner there, so that might, that might have been why you heard me uh, chewing on a cheeseburger just then. But uh, but here we go. We're falling. Falling, I can see the ground. Here we go. Got a lot of critters. There we go. Okay, let's get out and then let's go to our link book. Here we go. Where points? This is it. Moment of truth. Where are we going to end up next? Hopefully, back at our base.